This is a group of friends from Island in Rio. They are aging from 15 to 19 years old. And they asked for another friend, also from Island in Rio, to produce this video. Once they uploaded it to YouTube, in less than one week, they reached 2 million views. In three, week, three weeks, they were in national TV. This is just one of the many examples we have in Brazil now that shows how the internet and especially the social media is kind of getting baked in pop culture in Brazil nowadays. Well, we are a nation with 200 million people living there in a, in a society that 100 million people use social networks every day. But myself, I think the most impressive, impressive numbers in terms of social media usage in Brazil is time spent. We lead the global rank for this. Usually a Brazilian, in average, spends 12 hours using social networks per month. The global average, the, the, the local average for Europe, for example, is, uh, is 7.41 hours. Another really interesting number in terms of usage in Brazil is that we are really connected. In average, a Brazilian person in social networks, they will have 231 friends. The global average, 120. This is something really big. Almost 75% of smartphone users in Brazil says that the main feature of their phone is to use social media. Probably influenced by these numbers, the Wall Street Journal published an article in 2013 stating that Brazil was the social capital of the world. This was my reaction when I read this for the first time. Well, I was aware of all these numbers. Okay, we use it so uh, we have all these people using it intensively and etc. But I have never figured out that we were kind of in the cutting edge of this global phenomenon of people using social media. So I decided to transform this feeling in a question: Why? Why do Brazilians use social media so so much? Why did you embrace this innovation so strongly? So, I was discussing with a friend of mine, his name is Tim Lucas, and he owns a research company in Brazil called The Listening Agency, and we decided to go in a venture to do a study trying to understand why we use social media so much in Brazil. The idea in this study was trying to find economic, cultural, social factors that could explain this phenomenon locally in Brazil. And what I'm going to share with you in the, in the next slides is mainly the key figure, the main things that we found out, the five key factors that we kind of understand that that's why people in Brazil use social media, social media so strongly. The first one is related to our culture. Our culture in Brazil is the result of a mashup. We are such a young country. We have only more, a bit more than 500 years old. So our nation has 200 uh, million people living there. And th th these people are actually built up with mixed, mixed cultures. I don't know, sure, I don't, I'm not sure if you are aware that we are uh, the country in the world that we have the biggest Japanese community. The only place where you can find more Japanese in the world is in Japan, of course, and then Brazil. And this is something that is really common for us because anyone can look like a Brazilian. It's been said that in the black market, this, the Brazilian passport values most because with the Brazilian passport, you can seek your photo and you'll be like a Brazilian. I can be a Brazilian. Any of you here in this room could be a Brazilian. It's not advice, I'm just sharing some information, okay? Um, 
There is this uh, project from an artist in Brazil called Adriana Varejão that I think that pictures exactly what I'm talking about. She, was, uh, she started this project when she read an article saying that a research in Brazil showed that people there tend to say that we have 33 different color tones in the country. When people were trying to describe what color they were, they were saying 33 different names. So she started this project with this idea of having 33 different color tones uh, for skins in Brazil. And she did a partnership with an ink maker to try to find these specific colors and to produce oil painting with that. Then she, uh, she painted a self-portrait of hers, like this one as you can see on the back. She shipped this, this portrait to China Ask it for 33 different artists there to copy that self that, that portrait, and once this this uh, uh, canvas were back in Brazil, she started to repaint her skin with these colors, and at the end you could see that any of these 33 different could be her because she could be look like with any of, any of these. And I think that when you have a country, when there is a mix of different cultures, you kind of lower down the social barriers to embrace innovation. And probably this is one of the biggest explanations we have on, on trying to understand why are we are so uh, 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 in, in social media nowadays in Brazil. The second one might, may, might be the most obvious one. We are talking about people who are social by nature. Uh, it's been said that Latinos and especially Brazilian people, we are really fun and we are always social and we don't have, we are not shy and we usually uh, uh, get really, really easily, we can get, a, you, you can make friends in Brazil. Most of this is right, okay, but then if you have more time I can explain how things go. But anyway, this is something that emerged from the, begin the right beginning of the country, because imagine when you mix a lot of different countries, uh, literacy is something that becomes a mess. Nobody can understand, nobody talking, especially reading and getting knowledge from reading, for example. So the oral culture becomes the standard for everything. Just put this in perspective nowadays, if you look for ranks, uh, trying to understand uh, in which position Brazil is in terms of book readings, I prefer not to share this information with you, because we will be one of the last countries. But if you try to see the same kind of standards in terms of watching TV, we will be on the second in the world. This means that oral culture is something really massive in Brazil. Just to give you an example, last year we have a soap opera in Brazil from TV Global called Avenida Brasil. They might broadcast this to more than 100 countries in the world. I would not be uh, uh, um, surprised that you have already uh, heard about this if you are a soap opera person. And in the last episode, when they broadcast this uh, in Brazil, uh, they had almost 100 and something million people watching this final episode simultaneously live on TV. This is almost the same size of the audience for a Super Bowl match globally. So we are talking about a really, really oral culture where social behavior is something really standard. So probably with that in mind, it's easy to find people using this same, st same stuff in the social uh, networks. The third factor that we found is related to informality. Our culture is totally created up on this informality system where rules and some specific things that doesn't work at all. Just to give you an example, there is a whole system in the north of Brazil uh, related to music. This is this music uh, genre called Techno Braga. They have their own system. They, they are kind of beating the whole music industry locally in this region in Brazil because they produce, they burn, and they distribute their own albums, their own content. I'm not talking about pirate copies. I'm talking about original materials. They don't need industry standards to do that. And everything is totally informally. What you see on the screen is a guy who is the dealer, in a way, selling CDs for another guy who is interested in this new release he just got from an artist that lives, that lives uh, just across the street with this first guy, the dealer one. And this is really crazy because most of the companies, when they get in Brazil, they kind of uh, don't understand what are the local rules there in terms of cultural and social and economic behaviors. And this is one big example on how the music industry is, try is trying to beat this. 
Uh, another uh, good finding we had is that there is a lack of public spaces in Brazil because of security problems, because of uh, uh, government problems, uh, parks and uh, squares and public places are not easy to find or are not uh, uh, really visited by the public. So, in a way, we could say that from the last years, the social networks are becoming these public spaces for the Brazilian people. It's like, social, it's like a social network being the park or being the public place. And the way around is starting to happen. There is this movement that I think myself is really funny that's called Rolezinho. It means that young people from the suburbs of Sao Paulo, they use social networks to set up meetings inside luxury shopping malls. And then you can imagine what happens once they get there. This is a good picture showing what is, what is going on. It's just for fun. And this is something that kind of crashes the system because they're not doing anything that's not allowed. They're just in a public space. But a bunch of young guys there. And last but not least, Recently, we had, because of some economic things, uh, we had a growth of, on the number of uh, people in the middle class in the country. Nowadays, we have 40 million new consumers in the country that somehow they can start to consume new things that they couldn't consume a couple of years ago. And what is the first thing you think when you have like this kind of new consumers doing? They show off. And when you have the social media, this is the best place to show off. There is another funk movement in Brazil that's called Funk Ostentação or Ostentation Funk. That's something like this. O esquerdo só tem peixe e o direito tá cheio de onça. Meu Deus, como é bom ser vida louca De carrão, de motora O bagulho te impressiona Ela brisa, ela olha, ela pisca, ela chora Só pra andar de navona Ai, meu Deus, como é bom YouTube. ser vida louca and you can see, of course, they are influenced by the American, North American rap. But anyway, they are kind of adapting this idea to show off that now they are they have access to this kind of things. So mainly, mainly, this was the five factors that we found out in this study that kind of explains why we use social media so strongly in Brazil. And at the end, our final conclusion was, well, it's not a matter that Brazilian social media users are a step ahead from the other users in the world. It's just a matter that we use it in a more intense way. We embrace it more strongly. And if you want to get a picture on how is the behavior of a user in social media, if you observe a Brazilian person, a Brazilian user, probably you're going to get a better picture for that. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.